Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you have another great day today. Well, we just got off a couple of road trips with our vehicles. We had the Rivian on one T, took that on the road trip. And if you haven't known by now, we also got the Rivian R1S right here too. And you know, I'm trying to get this thing washed up. This one just got washed up. But uh, just, you know, when you get a new vehicle and you get that new car smell, you get on the inside, you know, this thing smells all good on the inside. And yeah, it just make my R1T look raggedy and dusty and old and out of date. So I gotta get it up to par. And it's a few things I'm gonna be doing to my Rivian you know, R1T, you know, so I wanna be so, uh, you know, behind the times with this new smelling vehicle. And I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm talking about here. So I just wanted to show you something here. And this is uh, something you probably definitely want to do with your vehicle. It's something I wish I would have done earlier on. But I wanted to show you something here. So right here you have, you have these mats that come with the vehicle. It still got a couple of little dust on it. But you see how this looks? And this uh, one thing I like about these mats, and it, it kind of matches the interior of the vehicle. It just has a greenish gray look to it. And you see, this is new. Still smells new and everything. But I'm going to show you what this mat will end up looking like over time. Okay, right here we have my Rivian R1T. And of course, this one has an Ocean Coast interior in here. And I just want to show you the mat in this one. And look at this. And this has been cleaned before. You see the big old brown streak. And it's kind of deformed a little bit. Really nice looking mats. And I really, this is why I, did, I decided not to take it out. I did buy some all-weather mats from Rivian, and I'm going to let you uh, see those also, but just look at the big dirt stain. Let's see how power washed. I'm going to try to do it again. I'm going to see if I can get some carpet cleaner to this to, to uh, clean it up. But even still, I found a better option than this. Let me get that on out of here. And another option that I had when I first bought my vehicle, I ordered these uh, mats here. And let me see. Let me find one down here. And I never use these mats. You see, it's still in the plastic. That's not the one I'm looking for. Yeah, these mats have never been used before. And I'm just wanting to show you how, you know, you can use a mat like this to help protect your vehicle. And you see, I'm gonna show you something. You look right here, my, my uh, foot well here. See how it's all dusty and dirty. And I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna put this mat in here and we can see if we can solve this problem with that. This right, and it's just clips in like this. And this could help protect my carpet and my mat. But just take a look at this mat on the inside. Look at this mat. And you see that it's not protecting my foot well. And I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna show you an even better option that uh, was sent to me by Best EV Mods. And it's right here in this box. Let's take these over here. And I'm just gonna do a compare and contrast. So this here is a mat also. This is, comes from Best EV Mods. And I'm just gonna compare it to this Rivian All Weather Mat. You see we have this, this one. This is for Rivian with the Rivian logo on it. And that, these are over $200. And just look at the difference between the two. Look at that size difference. And I'm go ahead and stick this in the vehicle and then you see what I mean about more protection. And it snaps in just like so. And just look at the amount of protection you get with this mat. And these mats are a lot less expensive than the mats from Rivian. In fact, I may be doing a giveaway on this. And so if this uh, video gets at least 500 likes, uh, I'm gonna do, get, do a giveaway to one of my subscribers. 
So these are, if you look in the Rivian shop, you see these things are well over $200. And these are for the R1T. So uh, yeah, let's, let me uh, put the rest of these mats in. Just show you what these look like. You also have one for the back seat. And let me go move these seats out of the way. Go ahead and remove these mats. And it's just held down by three little clips on the back. And just go ahead and take this up. And just, just give you a look at this. You know, this is a nice mat, nice color. Held up pretty well because I, you know, I really don't, most times, like most big trucks and SUVs, I'm the only one in it. <laughs> so uh, that one doesn't get dirty. But I do have kids, and more than likely than not, over time, they will get dirtier and dirtier. And I'm just going to take this and have this one for the passenger side. Just go ahead and put this one in too. And then this is also, look at how high up this comes. I'm going to compare this to the uh, passenger side mat also in this vehicle. And here's the mat that's currently uh, in the Rivian. And I'm just going to show you the difference between these two. And just like I did with the other one. And you see the big difference between this mat fits all the way inside of this other mat. And so, and that's held up pretty well too. Like I said, now I don't have a lot of passengers in my vehicle, so. And that's, uh, this is form shape to just, you know, provide max protection. You know, see, even this comes over the lip a bit, provide protection right here. It comes all the way up over here. And then I like how this lip comes up over here. And I am, I'm going to pull some water in here just to see how well this, this holds up. Cause this really did happen to me once before I spilled some water inside my vehicle and it was not a good deal, especially with that little mat in there. And so I'm just going to show you a little demonstration of how this thing, and now I don't know myself, so uh, I haven't done this before, so you're going to be seeing this for the first time, just along with me. And because this did happen to me, and I just spilled quite a bit of water in there. So just imagine getting in and out off-roading, or if you spill a cup of coffee, or some of your Starbucks, I don't drink that mess, but... I only drink water, but if you drink, if you spilled some, some Coke or something like that on your floor, you know, and, and you have a big mess, it, it'll go right through this thing right here, more than likely. I'm not going to test it because I already know what's going to happen because it already happened. And so let's see if we can just get this out without spilling any water. And look at that there. Whoa, <laughs> got me, <laughs> but it didn't get in the car. So, uh, but yeah, so you see how well this holds up and this has a lot of utility. I'm gonna throw this out in the sun so it can dry out now. Now it looks like I had an accident on myself. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back mat in. Okay, here's this back mat here. And so I'm just gonna Put this down here. It's probably need to get hit up by the sunlight. I'm gonna see if you know what the difference is between this one and the one that comes with the. These are the ones you gotta pay for. Like I said, these are a couple hundred dollars at least in the uh, in the Rivian gear shop. And you just see the difference. This again, this fits right inside of this. This fits right inside. And you know, just look how much higher up this comes. And so it just provides way more protection and way more coverage than the one that comes with the Rivian. Just look how far over this comes. And so that's at least overall an extra four and a half or five inches of protection that you get with these mats from Best EV Mods. And even this, this little part sticks out too. I'm not sure why. Well, you have these little two points here. But let me go ahead and stick this one in. I just have to make sure I get it in the uh, lock that down and 
See it's a little tight over here, but <laughs> got that locked in. Some DCs. I probably should have put that light on there. I see, uh, I mean, this is very, very good fit right here. You see they did have these points here to provide protection for right here so things just can't slip off. And again, you got the lip that goes up and it provide a lot of protection, a lot of protection for the back carpet. You see how high this comes up on the, uh, on the back. I mean, just very good protection. And you see how far over it comes on the side. Excellent fit, I would have to say. Uh, better than the one that comes with the uh, vehicle and the one that costs uh, twice as much that you'll, you'll purchase in a gear shop. Awesome. Now, now, I should have put these in a long time ago <laughs> when I first got this vehicle. Uh, but I, like I said, I like the way the ones that came with them looked. And they are a nice looking mat. But if you want your mat looking like my mat, uh, you probably don't. Uh, you maybe just put it in during the summertime, but in the wintertime, you know, maybe put these in. You know, if you want to just extend the life of your vehicle, these are expensive vehicles. And you, if you want to, you know, kind of protect the, your investment and keep the depreciation as low as possible, these, these electric vehicles right now, uh, you know, experience some higher than uh, average depreciation rates, uh, especially if you're leasing a vehicle also, uh, like uh, this Rivian R1S right here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one and, you know, just to protect the value of it. Uh, this does have a purchase option that you can buy this vehicle at the end of the lease and that's still on the table. But until the meantime, uh, I want to make sure this vehicle is protected. And so I will be uh, getting some mats for this vehicle also. And, and, and hopefully I can test these things out just like I did compare the Rivian mats, uh, the aftermarket ones, the ones you get in the gear shop to the ones that come with the vehicle, to the ones from Bass EV Mods. Awesome mats, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description, and, uh, and also with a discount code too, so you, if you wanna purchase some of these at a discount. But that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me once again, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.